I'm here with Cheryl Lehman, city councilor, and uh, I think you've been on the city council now for how many years? Oh, forever. <laughs> 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 but what we're here to talk about today is just what's happening recently and get a little update on the, what's been at issue at the city council. And to start with, I know you just mentioned that the 600 Congress Street was a pretty big issue. Do you want to describe that a little and say what happened with well, that? Well, it, it, every issue that comes before the city seems to be more interesting than the one before, but um, it, it, the last city council meeting that we had, uh, there were two items, and the 600 Congress Street certainly generated a lot of interest in the community. This is a, a building that sits up on the upper end of Congress Street up towards Longfellow Square. Um, it had an antique shop in it, and so, so no, there hadn't been a lot of activity in the building. It had really um, been let go, uh, but it's an absolutely gorgeous building. Architecturally, it is uh, just very significant. So we had a, an individual approach us and ask us if we would be willing to consider what we call um, a, a, a special merit for this particular project. And what that means is we would give them an exemption from a city ordinance that requires uh, developers within a certain designated area uh, to put housing money, I think it's $50,000 a unit, into a housing fund if they remove units from the market. And this particular building had, many, many years ago, uh, actually contained uh, rental units. And so they would have had to have paid a, actually a great sum of money into the housing fund uh, to replace uh, the lost units. Um, it was a very close vote. Um, I think it was a 6-3 vote on the city council. There are two sides of the argument. Those who felt that uh, the ordinance was, was there, they didn't meet the special merit. And then the other um, councilors, who f myself included, who felt that they did meet uh, that criteria of being within the special mer merit category. And beyond that, uh, for me personally, uh, the units had been vacant for years. So we really didn't have anything to lose because they'd never been in the market uh, to begin with. And this particular building is so significant with regards to being the impetus for more development up in that area. Uh, where we desperately need it uh, on that end of Congress Street. So it was very, a very de exciting debate, and uh, it was interesting to see the different viewpoints. It was even a closer vote for what was going on with uh, the old port, the disbursement yes, of bars. Can you talk about that a little? I'd be happy to. We have on the books a, 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 an overlay zone that predominantly takes in the old port area. Uh, and what it does is years ago, um, when and not so many years ago actually, uh, when we were having issues around um, too many bars in a concentrated area, um, and uh, the spill out at one o'clock was creating problems for the police department, for the businesses down there. There'd be broken beer bottles, there'd be fights. Um, uh, it was just, and it was unsafe. It quite simply was unsafe. And the city council looked at a, a number of different options on how to try to address that issue. And what we finally came up with was this zoning um, that, that's called the, the dispersal ordinance. And it requires that you cannot locate within, um, I forget what, how many feet it is, but within a certain number of feet from another bar. And so we dispersed the bars so that they weren't all geographically concentrated in the same area. There had been uh, the controversy over the uh, presentation of the Naked Shakespeare performance at one of the bars. And because they were not allowed uh, to get an entertainment license for that performance, it kind of opened up the whole debate over whether or not there should or shouldn't be this requirement that bur uh, bars disperse themselves. Uh, that was a close vote. Um, I uh, certainly supported dispersal of the bars. I supported it when we first put it in place. Uh, it's been very effective because you now uh, have the bars dispersed within that geographic area and when a bar leaves, uh, you can only go in there but you can't create new bars. So we have completely diffused uh, that concentration of bars in one area. 
Uh, it hasn't totally eliminated the problem, but clearly it's made a significant difference in um, bringing back safety into an area, which really is quite a lot of fun. It's uh, a nice part of the entertainment uh, nightlife here in the city of Portland, and people should feel safe about going yes. down and um, enjoying themselves in that area. There's wonderful restaurants and. It's a nice. It's a nice area to visit. It's a wonderful area. And as you say, the, every issue that the city council deals with it seems to be more interesting than the last one. So what we thought we'd do here on this show is to invite city councilors in, such as yourself, and get an update. So That's a wonderful hope idea. Hope you might come back again. Yeah, I, I certainly will, and thank you. Thank you for being uh, here. Back to you, Beth.